calculating bonuses and increment could be so easy if you know how to use this trick in Microsoft Excel. Before we jump in, let's understand the data first. The one on the left is the reference table where it shows the grieving point and the entitlement of the bonus as well as the increment. Meanwhile, the one on the right is the actual data where it shows based on the staff and the increment you want to have based on their individual grading. So what you can see the differences between these two set of data, the grading point is showing in the percentage. Meanwhile, the reference table is shows in the decimal value or could be in the whole number value. They are not in the percentage. Let me show you how you're able to handle this one with this Excel method very, very easily. Let's jump in. First, I want to go to the reference table. I just need to do this once. If you are not doing this, I will encourage you to do this on your reference table. Firstly, I will just go to insert, then something called table. And the keyboard shortcut is, is Control T. So later I'll show you how this thing is very, 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 very powerful. But right, but just press OK. And you can see the whole thing changes, it doesn't matter. And give the table name a meaningful name. Currently it says table one. I want to recommend you all to start the table name with the name of table. Later I will show you why. This is about grading. So I just type table grading and press enter. That's it. And I want to go to the column F, the row number two. So I want to start calculating by looking up what is 93? 93 is above 90. So therefore the increment will be 300 and the bonus will be two months of bonus. So I want to bring the data from the left towards the one on the right. So I will be using VLOOKUP. So equal VL and press tab key. So the lookup value is uh, um, the value I have it here. So I just like the percentage. Because this percentage, I want to make it as a number, so I will multiply with 100. So I can press tab key to confirm a selection. And you can see the left side, the whole thing is highlighted. So I can continue by pressing comma. It's asking which column it has a value of increment. The very first column is A. It means the selected table. A is the first column increment amount will be column two bonus will be column three so i want to get the data from column two so i will just key in number two and close parenthesis and press enter so you can see 93 percent will be entitled for 300 of increment so i will just go to the bonus and let's complete these two formula before i copy it down equal vl tab key the grading point multiply by 100 comma i just type the table name tab i will see table grading is shown so i can press tab key to confirm selection comma the bonus is in the column number three so i close parenthesis and press enter so that is a two month of bonus so i can just like this two and double click you can see the whole thing is get updated so whenever in the future I want to do some adjustment, just be aware about this thing. Maybe the boss wanted to have a 20% for the a little bit of increment. So it's between 10 and 30. So I will just need to right click, insert rows above. So this is about 20. So the increment amount is zero. Maybe the bonus is 0.3. So you can see 23% now it has a 0.3 for the bonus. So just be aware, this whole thing must be in the sequential number from the smallest towards the larger. And this is a starting range number. That means from zero to 19.99, it is a no increment, it's just 0.25 for the bonus. And the list goes on. Some people may be thinking, hey Ty, could I do something similar using index match? The answer is yes. Let me show you the method. So let me remove these two formulas. I was just using index match now. Equal index and press tab key. After index, we will select the column we want. 
So I will just go to table, T-A-B, table grading, and press tab key to confirm a selection and open square bracket. The meaning of open square bracket, it means I want to go for a specific column, which is the increment amount. I press tab key and close square bracket, comma, match, tab key, the grading point, multiplied by 100, comma. So I want to compare the grading point based on the column, grading point inside table, grading. So I will just go for table, grading, tab key, open square bracket, grading point, tab key, close square bracket, and comma, you will ask for match type. I will say I want to go for less than. So that means it's a starting from a smaller number towards a larger number. Press tab key and close parenthesis twice and press enter. So the value is correct. So I can just copy down by double click on the fill handle. So let's do something similar for the bonus. Equal index tab key. So I just go to the bonus column inside table grading. So I'll type TAB. You can see table grading is selected. Press tab key. Open square bracket. Bonus tab key. Close square bracket. Comma match tab key. So I want to refer to us the grading point. Multiply by 100. Comma table grading tab key. Open square bracket grading point, tab key, close square bracket, comma, it is less than, I press tab key, close parenthesis twice and press enter. So and I can copy this thing down by double click on the view handle. So this is how you're able to get this thing done by using index match. Some people may be asking, hey Ty, I want to use XLOOKUP. It's the coolest function in the world now, especially in Microsoft Excel. So let me show you how you're able to get this done by using XLOOKUP as well. First, I want to remove them by, okay. Now I just want to go for XLOOKUP. Equal XL, XLOOKUP is selected and press tab key and its lookup value will be the grading point in percentage multiplied by 100 comma the lookup value will be in the grading point inside table grading so i will just type table tab and the table grading is selected press tab key open square bracket grading point tab key close square bracket comma this is the matching and i want to know the value which is for the increment this is also in the table grading table grading tab key open square bracket increment amount tab key close square bracket comma is asked for what if it doesn't found so i just ignore for the time being i can just comma the match type is i want to use negative one it means it's exactly the match or the next smaller item so that's how it works and press tab key and close parenthesis and press enter. Let's copy the formula down and investigate. 78% will be above 70, but it's lesser than 80, so it's 200. So that's correct. So let's replicate the similar function inside bonus. Equal XL, tab key, the grading point multiplied by 100, comma, this is comparing against the table grading tab key open square bracket grading point tab key close square bracket comma and i want you to return the bonus from the table grading or so type table grading tab key open square bracket bonus tab key close square bracket comma I just ignore for the time being when it doesn't fall, so I can press comma. So I want to use the exact match or the next smaller item and press tab key and close parenthesis and press enter. So I can just get this thing copied down. So yeah, now it should be working. 
And the beauty of using XLOOKUP, the values here is not necessary in the sorted sequence. It could be jumbled up as well. Let me show you. If I want to purposely jump up certain rows, I can just move them around. So you can notice there's no changes in the values on the right side. It doesn't influence by that. So it's very, very useful and you are able to see how this thing works easily using XLOOKUP. These are the three simple methods that will help you to calculate the increment and the bonus for your staff. And please let me know which method you like the most in the comment below. And remember to subscribe to this channel if you have not subscribed and turn the notification bells on so you'll be get notified whenever there's a new video ready for you. And Remember to share this video to your friends and colleagues so they are able to learn something together with you. And my name is Tai, your Excel Seafood. Take care and stay safe. And bye!